بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں نے مز محمد عاصم ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا جینکنس پائپ لائن سی آئی سی ڈی ان کیوبرنیٹیز اینڈ وٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو فار دا سی آئی پروسیس وچ مینس دا بلڈ پروسیس وی آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو یوز دا ڈاکر ساکٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز کینیکو اینڈ دا آرکیٹیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بلڈ ٹوڈے ان جینکنس اینڈ کیوبرنیٹیز از سارٹ آف pretty much like production ready it gives you full understanding so what i have done i've spin up one uh, cluster in gk and uh, spin up one cluster in aws eks so what we are going to do as an architectural uh, point of view we are going to spin up um, jenkins on uh, gk right and we are going to do the deployment on uh, AWS EKS. This is just to give you understanding how uh, we can, you know, do deployments on multi clouds. And other than that, uh, we are going to use uh, Kenico. So what I have uh, done, uh, I've created a repo for you guys. And uh, as far as the CI build process, it gives you full understanding how um, the pipeline is going to work and um, some of the documentation I've already uh, made and um, I'm going to show you uh, the production ready stuff in a way that we are going to use the private repos, right? To clone, uh, to clone in our uh, Jenkins and what we then going to do, um, we are going to do the build and push to Docker Hub. Uh, this is my Docker Hub right and i've already done testing right and regarding that uh, our uh, whole process of cacd and then what we are going to do uh, simply do the deployment on our eks cluster so uh, let me connect with gke cluster first thing first we are going to set up jenkins so let me connect with my cluster right keep sheet and get nodes uh, you will see two nodes right so uh this is the version and what we are going to do uh, let me close this guy we are going to set up jenkins on this so simply you need to follow these uh, readme steps um, so jenkins um set up on gk cluster so we are going to use the help right to copy this command and to helm repo update and we are going to install jenkins in the namespace uh, jenkins right so let's begin so what it does uh, it will create a namespace if it is not there definitely it is not there because it is a brand new fresh and gk cluster you see uh, it's pretty much copy waste of commands and we are going to set up our jenkins in gk then we are going to set up the pipelines um, and then i'm going to show you all the steps of in the pipelines so okay um, if i do helm ls in namespace jenkins right and kubectl get all in namespace Jenkins, right? Right, so what we will be doing kubectl, um, first of all, get secrets in namespace uh, Jenkins, right? kubectl, Yes, secrets name of the secret is going to be jenkins right and namespace jenkins and hyphen or yaml right so uh, by default um, i mean these are the secrets so this is uh, admin i know i mean you can simply uh, decode in base 64 so 
okay uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to simply say this uh, i'm going to simply call uh, i mean decode this in base 64 so let me do that base 64 decode right so this is our jenkins uh, password right let me store this guy in a file jenkins gk right so just to show you these are Jenkins password. So what we can do, um, we can do the port, uh, I mean, port forward to this guy. So um, let's say, um, let me use the other command, right? kubectl uh, if all in namespace Jenkins, and we are going to simply port forward uh, to this service. And we are going to simply log in uh, into our Jenkins. And then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create pipeline, right? So uh, kubectl port forward, right, port forward to um, this service, right? And let's say the address is going to be all interfaces and uh, right and my port is going to be let's say 8090 and 8080 of jenkins by default and you can also put the namespace here because it is not a uh, default namespace i've done the typo Okay, now you are doing the port forwarding. So, um, 8090 is our port. So, as you know, as you know, I would like to, you know, work in um, containers. So, uh, this is the container which we are going to access. So, uh, HTTP um, GKE port 8090, right? So you see our Jenkins is uh, available here. So actually this is the container networking. That's why I'm able to access with the DNS name. So as the gcloud CLI or um, GTK is there. Right, so simply what we need to do for login. So you see all the work we are doing in container and encrypted. Although uh, it is showing not secure, but um, it's, uh, these are the self certificate in Chasm desktop. I've already created videos with regard to that. You can watch on my channel, right? So we are uh, logged in and uh, logged in to our GCP. And I'm going to now uh, create a pipeline let's say call hmm eks ci cd with kenico kenico from gk let's call this pipeline right i'm going to save it so guys, uh, this is the first part of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next part. Thank you. Have a nice day.